Well, hello there and greetings to you. It is Matthew McDonald here. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and get an API key from Google. If you've already got a Google account and you have some kind of other API key, you're going to do this in a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes at the most. If you are new, then you might might take you a little bit longer the first time you go ahead and get an API key. So, so we're just going to head over to Google here. You can see I'm on uh, console.google, console.cloud.google.com. I'm already logged in. Chances are if you've got a Google account, you'll be logged in as well. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new project. So you can see at the moment I'm in live review. This is a project and basically the way Google works is you kind of group activities into a project. So here we go, clicking on this button here. You can see I've got other projects here. We're going to go ahead and create a new project. And we're going to give it a name. You can call this whatever, this is just... For your own reference, I'm going to call this B2B leads. There we go. Doesn't have to be unique. And we're going to click create. And you can see it's working there. It's doing the work for us and creating the project. There we go. Project created. Selecting the project. And you can see now it's here. We're in the project. And the next step for us to do now is to enable the API for this particular project. How do we do that? I'm glad you asked. Let's go to the menu here, top left corner. And we're going to go to API, APIs and Services and enable APIs and Services. Giving that a click. We are becoming lead generation masters here. We're going to choose enable APIs and services. And we're going to go ahead and search in this case for Google Places. So we'll go and type in Google Places. Well, we're in Google. Here we go. Places API. Now we've got two options here. We've got this new version. Don't worry, we don't need this one. We just take the regular places API. Give that a click. And now we can just enable it with one click. We're almost done. Hang in there. Click to enable. And basically it's going to enable that. Look at this. 100 million places. That's why we're here, folks. 100 million places. We've got our places and there we go, places API enabled. If you are new with setting up Google, you might get prompted to add uh, a payment uh, details or payment preferences to, to places API. You can do that. You can basically use any credit card to link up your payment. And if you want to limit the amount that it's going to be costing you, you can also do that in your Google Cloud uh, settings. Now, in this video, for this particular project, we're not too concerned about the cost. Most people are going to be in the free plan with the Google Places API when you're using it with the plugin. If you are a super heavy user like myself, then it might cost you a couple of dollars a month, but it's going to be like five bucks or something like that. So don't worry about it. Let's continue to the next step, which is getting our Places API key. Back in our favorite menu, top left corner, we're going to go back to API and Services. We've done the first one there. We go to Credentials. And here we are in our credentials. We're going to select create credentials and we're going to choose API key. Creating API key. And there we go. Now I'm going to delete this API key. You can secure this API key as well, which is another step that you can do. 
if you are putting it on the front end of your website facing facing the front but if you are using it inside of your wordpress admin you not you don't really need to secure it but there you go you've got your key ready to go you can come in here anytime and grab that and you can add that to your settings page and get started with your searches